Hello everyone and welcome back to the video on the JRS Cars YouTube channel. In today's video, I have a car that's over 5 meters long, has a 3 litre V6 diesel engine with quattro all wheel drive. Yes, it is a luxurious bus and that my friends is this 2013 Audi Q7 V6 diesel quattro. Yes, pretty long name for a pretty long car. In this video, we're going to see a complete review of this Q7 and in the end, I'm going to tell you if this pre-owned luxury vehicle, which is on sale right now for around 26 lakhs, is worth your money when you compare it to the XUV700 or any other premium car which is worth 26 lakhs brand new. Should you buy a brand new car or go for pre-owned luxury? All this and more in this video. Let's begin straight away. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, jump legend bound, can't stop me now. Alright guys, straight away starting with the exterior design, before we do that, let's open the bonnet and check out the massive heart of this mammoth vehicle, the V6 TDI over here. A really massive engine that powers this massive vehicle. This vehicle was also available with a 4.2 litre V8 diesel engine, however if you do find such vehicles, you would be paying a premium for it. Yes. So from the front, this generation of the Q7, which is basically the first generation facelift, looks really very imposing. You have the massive Audi grille over here, you have the slim lights with these DR elements over there, you have all LED indicators over here, you have fog lights as well down below. Really an um, imposing front end for the Q7. You have the quattro badging over there as well. And yes, this vehicle is much more imposing with its front end design, these massive flat wheel arches and this extremely long length. When you compare this first generation Q7 to the latest Q7, I really feel that this vehicle has a much more imposing in your face, don't mess with me attitude compared to the newer vehicle. Yes, the newer vehicle does have a much more modern interior and we'll get to that in a bit. But from the looks perspective, this vehicle gets my vote when you compare it to the newer Q7. So from the front, we have these massive 19 inch wheels, 265 55 R19 tire size. As you guys can see, there's just bare enough clearance over there. Really massive wheels. We have this massive side step over here, the S-line badge, massive rear view mirrors over here. Moving down the side, as you guys can see, it takes a long time to walk around to the back of the car. Yes, the car is a bit dirty, please excuse me for that. But as you guys can see, this vehicle in white with blacked out windows really looks really mafia spec as well. Moving to the back, we get these massive lights which belong to the Audi Q7. We have dual exit exhaust pipes at the back, 3 liter TDI badging. This being the older version of the Q7, you do not get dynamic swipe indicators. However, the rear light does look really well designed, well detailed as well. We have the massive exhaust pipes like I mentioned. Let's open the boot of the vehicle using the vehicle's key. Yeah. And there we have it, the massive boot of the Audi Q7. Like I said, this vehicle is a 7-seater. And as you guys can see, with all three rows up, boot space is great. You do get some additional storage over here as well and you also get this button over here and this is to raise all over the suspension to load heavy items yes this vehicle has air suspension and i'll show you something else really cool press this button the boot closes automatically how cool is that all right guys so that's it about the q7 from the outside big imposing luxurious let's see how good it is inside as I mentioned, this vehicle does have quite dark tints, as you guys can see the difference between no tint and tinted window. You do have a mix of really posh materials over here. We have this wood trim over here, this suede-like finish over here. Yes, you do get some hard plastics as well. You also get this inbuilt window shade. Quite a useful feature for the Audi Q7. You get an ashtray over here as well. 
not very useful you do get a door pocket with a bottle holder and that is quite useful you also get both speakers let's take a listen when we get inside a bit later yes so as you guys can see i have plenty of headroom i have enough legroom and thigh support is quite good as well this seat can move front and back like this to increase the space for the rear seat passengers however with these two seats in front the back row is good only for children hence i am not going to attempt to climb inside you do have a get cup holders in the back as well and this moon roof as well you have the controls over here with the lights quite nice you get this massive panoramic sunroof quite a useful feature you also get your ac vents mounted over here as well as over here you get proper four zone automatic climate control you have this attachment over here for a rear seat entertainment package you get grab handles as well you also get a tray in case you want to eat while your chauffeur drives you along so sitting at the back over here the q7 is usually a seven seater vehicle however this particular vehicle is equipped with the six seater configuration as you guys can see we have two captain seats over here you get this two cup holders over here you get a massive storage over here as well with a remote and a slice starter packet as well so guys that's about the back seat of the Audi Q7 definitely a luxurious and spacious place to be and yes you can click over here to check out my review of the XUV700 so you can compare and contrast the luxury space and comfort of the Q7 versus the XUV700 they both have 7 in the name after all bad joke aside let's now move to the front seat now all right guys entering the front seat but before that just check out how massive the rear view mirror is all right so the door pad all right guys so the front of the Audi Q7 as you guys can see we have the same wood touch finish over here this chrome line as well lock unlock button memory settings for the seat your window controls mirror controls we get electric seats with electric lumbar adjustment and well let's get inside yes okay this is the key of the Audi Q7 yes it looks very very familiar to the key on my Skoda Lara because well they both look exactly the same mine has a Skoda logo over here here you have the Audi logo and well let's really start the vehicle you put the key in like this yes and now we have the vehicle running okay as you guys can see we have low fuel so let's quickly finish this up anyway you get electric seats you also get electric adjustment for the steering wheel which is available for both reach and rake yeah all right guys so taking a look at the instrument cluster this is typical audi from a year from a decade ago i would say we have very sporty instrument dials we have a nice old-fashioned looking steering wheel yes this is in fact the same steering wheel which skoda also used to use during the same time we have your automatic uh, headlight controls over there we have your parking brake release over here center control stack you have this smallish infotainment screen as you guys can expect from an older audi so this my friends is the old type of mi system as you guys can see you can put the air suspension into dynamic mode so you have your traction control off button your mi system your dual zone climate control for the front the old school automatic gear lever and the controls for your mi system you of course get an auto dimming side rear mirror you have your interior lights over here as well you get a massive sunroof which i'm not opening you also get sun visors with a mirror and a light oh this is actually quite nice so you have a light hi this is quite nice so yeah all these luxury and features in a car which once costed over 85 lakhs can be yours for just 26 lakhs the price of the xuv the price of a brand new xuv 700 all right guys before we go for the driving experience let's take a listen at this bose audio system definitely a great audio system in the audi q7 what else would you expect from this car talking about the steering we have your steering motor controls over here as well as here as well you have your voice assistant you have your navigation systems you have the horn of the audi q7 which i'll show you while driving we have these buttons over here to set the brightness of your instrument cluster turn off and on your parking system your parking sensors turn on and off your screen oh and that's how you open the glove box of the Audi Q7. There's no button to open the glove box over here. Press this button. Yep. And that's how you open the glove box of the Audi Q7. Definitely an interesting piece of technology. 
All right, guys. So talking about comfort, let's open the door because, like you mentioned about the tint. So, like I was saying, the car is really very comfortable. The seats really hug you in nicely and support you quite well. Definitely a much better seating experience than the XUV 700. Yes, when you compare the technology, the dials, the old MMI system, it is not as advanced as the dual 10.25 inch screens which you get in the XUV 700. However, this vehicle does have a 3 liter V6 diesel engine with quattro all wheel drive. How does the vehicle drive? Does it drive like a pure Audi? And well, just how does an old Q7 drive? Is it really a bus? Or does it handle quite well? Let's find out right now. All right, guys, driving the Audi Q7. Wow! This vehicle has some punch. 2.4 tons of vehicle is getting hauled by this 3 liter V6 TDI engine, producing 240 bhp and 550 newton meters of peak torque. Power is sent to the road via a quattro all-wheel drive system and a 10, sorry, and a 8-speed automatic gearbox. This vehicle, I mean, you just saw how big this vehicle is from the outside. However, when you drive it, the vehicle does shrink around you, and you do feel like king of the road when driving the Audi Q7. 12 seconds late. Let's take a left over here. Today being a relatively free day, the roads are quite free, so there should be a good amount. Emotional, damn it! All right, guys. So driving the Audi Q7. Straight away, the first thing you notice when you get inside this car is that apart from its massive size outside, once you get inside the car, the car doesn't feel that big. It wraps itself around you really very nicely, and you do feel like you're driving only a Q3 or maybe a Q5 at maximum. The steering feels light, easy to use. You have great visibility from the front, out the windows as well. The mirrors offer you big coverage of what's to the left and right of you. All right, so driving this big 2.4 ton beast. Wow, this vehicle really has such a slug of torque that hits you. And wow, this vehicle really is a different driving experience. I did not expect a Q7 to drive or handle like how this vehicle does. 3 liter V6 engine, turbocharged of course with quattro all wheel drive. Puts out 250, sorry, puts out 240 bhp, 550 newton meters of peak torque, and man, this engine absolutely pulls this beast. You have an eight-speed automatic gearbox with quattro all-wheel drive, and this vehicle it really masks its weight and size so well. Now I realize by what the reviewer said by saying the Q7 is such a two-faced animal. It can really be a comfortable chauffeur-driven car, and at the same time, it can really put a smile on your face. And that's something I did not expect to say when I got into this review. Overall, talking about the Q7, you do have a lot of pros. However, being an old, big, expensive Audi, there are a few cons as well. So maintenance cost on this car is going to be a bit expensive. Okay, before that, wow. This car truly flies, and yes, it does have the brakes to keep up with its amazing performance. Like I was saying, talking about maintenance cost. Now, this expensive Q7 does command quite a premium, especially when it comes to service and maintenance, and that is something which you will not have when you compare it to, let's say, a brand new Mahindra XUV 700. Yes, that vehicle is going to be much easier to maintain, being a newer vehicle. It is for the first four or five years, you are not going to have any issue with regards to maintenance or service. However, the same cannot be said for this beast of a vehicle. Keep aside at least five lakh rupees if you plan to buy a used Q7 because you never know when things can fail. I am talking about the very expensive air suspension, the expensive AC system, and all the other electronic bits of this car. So, who should buy a pre-owned Audi Q7, or should you buy one rather? Well, if you plan to buy a single do-it-all car for around 25 lakhs, do stick only to the XUV 700 or other new cars like itself. If it's going to be a daily driver, the car that takes you from point A to point B, the weekend cruiser, and everything, an all-in-one car, do go for a brand new car. However, if you plan to buy a car that's going to be your fun car, the car you're going to drive on the weekends, or maybe it's a car you want to show off with, have fun with, and if it's going to be the second car in the stable, then yes, you can definitely consider buying a pre-owned Q7. Do be aware of the extra maintenance cost which you will be paying, and of course. The slightly more expensive running cost as well. However, for the most part, this Q7, especially if you buy a good, clean, well-maintained, reliable car, you are going to have a lot of fun driving this car. You can trust me on that. 
And so guys, that's been my review of the Audi Q7. Really a behemoth, a car that really puts a smile on your face. Something I did not expect when I got into this review. And yes, I'm saying that multiple times because that is the truth of driving this car. I did not expect to like the Q7. Especially when you consider Audi, when you compare it to brands like BMW, they are not known for the driving pleasure. They are known for luxury, comfort and well, this car really surprised me with its absolutely amazing power delivery and the huge amount of torque, 550 newton meters on offer. We have a straight stretch over here right now. Let's give it the beans. Wow! This car is a massive, amazing beast. Wow! Truly an amazing car and really one that's put a smile on my face, one I'm not gonna forget in a long, in a long time. So guys, this car, like I mentioned, is rightly currently for sale with my friend Mr. Fahad Fazil of FF Cars Tamil Nadu. So if you do plan to buy this Audi Q7, it's available for around 26 lakhs. I leave the link to the Instagram advertisement in the description below. And a massive thanks to Mr. Fahad Fazil for giving me this beast for review. So guys, if you like this video, do give the video a thumbs up, take a second subscribe and let me know if you want me to make more such videos. It's really amazing driving these old behemoths and definitely this Q7 is my favorite when you compare it to the new one purely because it looks so damn imposing when you compare it to the new one which has definitely gotten a bit of a bit weak I would say. So guys that's been my review of the Audi Q7. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did give the video a thumbs up, take a second subscribe and I'll see you next video really soon. Take care bye bye, drive safe.